right? This is Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 22. How long will thou go about, O backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth, a woman shall encompass a man. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakakwadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the name of the Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Creator of all energy, being Yahweh, and that of His Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, being Yahweh Shah. These be the only names in which salvation may be obtained, whether you've been given the Spirit to receive that knowledge or not. I'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Graham Millstone. Who have taught me this truth of the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, who drew wealth today, and peace, love, blessing, salutations be unto the elect of the nation of Israel, beginning with the hundred and forty and four thousand prophets, all the way down to the remaining elect of our nation, prophesied to come out of the lies and the deceits of this world, man. We see in part of them lies and deceits, as we read here, that we'd be led into according to the prophecies, man, is the woman ruling over your head. You see? This 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 concept of equality with your woman, man. You see, what you got to understand is the Heavenly Father created the creation and set order around all things, man. All right? It was not intended to be this way of what you see today. What you see today is a product of us disobeying the Most High. So he put our enemies over us to rule on this earth. And this is what happens when you allow somebody who was not fit to rule, ruling. They are ruling according to their own agenda according to their own mind, man. They're not ruling according to the laws of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, because if it was so, the woman would be subject to her man. That's what the word woman means, of the man. The woman was created for a help. And you see, she is the weaker vessel, man. Which is why she's used to destroy the men. Okay? Just like it was going all the way back to the garden, man. She was used to destroy the men. Let me go ahead and grab a precept. Um, actually, I've got to highlight it here. It's uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 11, and it reads, Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. You see that, man? This is the New Testament. Let the woman learn in silence. The scriptures say, Give a woman not liberty to gad abroad, man not be a social butterfly. You women are meant to be in subjection to their man. You got all these men out here running around taking advice from, from their women, leading them to, to destruction, man. You see? Matter of fact, I had somebody in the world try telling me that him and his woman were on equal terms and they, they had an open relationship. So this man's over here trying to make his woman be the man. Running around with all kind of men coming back with her back blown out for you, man. What the hell is wrong with this place, man? You see? And again, the reason is, this is prophecy, man. This is prophecy. You see, when you women are, are, in, are in your role, and the man is in his role, it will cause the household to flourish, man. It will cause order to take place. Just like at work, man. Go to work. Now ask yourself what happens if everybody just went ahead and switched positions. You took the person at the very bottom, the custodian, whatever the case may be, and made him be the, the CEO the CEO is the custodian, and everybody in between fills in. This company is going to fall, man. Or just say everybody's the CEO. Everybody's equal now. Let's all be the CEO. Who's going to be doing the, the, the work that, they were, that they're supposed to be doing, that they were hired to do, man? You see? The Heavenly Father is going to reestablish order on this earth, man. You have all these broken households, man. Which is a product of what Esau has done, man. You destroy the woman, you destroy the man, you destroy the house. It's a never-ending cycle, man. Let me go ahead and continue. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, because she's meant to be uh, have that man have, have dominion over her, man. You see, these women, they, they get emotional. They get wishy-washy. They don't have the type of faith that a man does, even. You see? So why are you going to take advice from that, man? You were meant to be the the, 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 the the man, the pillar, you see? But Jake has it all twisted around, man. Verse 13, it says, For Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. You see that, man? 
the woman being deceived was in transgression which led us to a point of what? death you see death man scriptures tell us a similar thing in uh, 1st Ezra I'll grab here in a second Lord willing it says verse 15 notwithstand, uh, notwithstanding she shall be saved in childbearing you see which is her curse right Eve's curse is to bear children it's a painful act as we all know that is a curse that you have to go through that you see and what do women have now now they're under both curses because what was the man's curse to have to labor to have to work now you women have, have, have been given this illusion of freedom from Esau to take on both curses man you had it better back in the 50's really <laughs> going on it says if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety man you will be saved in childbearing you see and taking part in your lot as a woman you see I'll go ahead and grab a quick precept I was going to grab it earlier this is um, uh, actually you know what man I'm going to grab a uh, first, uh, first Ezra this is first Ezra chapter 4 and verse 26 it says, yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. You see that, man? That's why That's why the scriptures talk about not uh, keeping your mouth shut against her that sleepeth at your bosom, man. You don't let these women in too close, man. You don't let, if you have a possession on this earth, what do you do with it, man? Or, uh, Slaki, if you, because uh, what is a woman, man? A woman is, is a possession to a man. Right? So if you have a possession and you've put all your time and energy into that thing, everything that you have, everything that you've got, man, this thing looking more beautiful than you could ever imagine. And then all of a sudden it gets stolen from you, or it gets broken, or whatever the case may be, you're going to be feeling all kind of messed up, man. It's a good old saying in the world keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer, man. These women out here are messed up, man. You see? So you gotta keep keep that guard up, man. Because this could be you. Running out of your wit for women's sakes, man. Becoming a servant. But what, here it is, the woman was created to serve you. Now you serving her, man. Fucking beta males, man. Fucking simps. Verse 27, it says, Many also have perished, have erred. Many also have perished have erred and sinned for women. Look at that, man. Many have perished, erred, and sinned for women. Let's get let's give some examples. We just got the example of Adam. Okay. Now we also have uh, 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 King Solomon. Right? King Solomon had, had, you know, I forget, you know, the exact number. Something about a, a thousand concubines and 700 wives or something like that, man. And the transgression was in him beginning to, to to set up groves and temples to worship their gods, man. You see? Begin to uh, be polluted by these women, man. So it's a slippery slope that we out here in, the, in this in this uh, uh, filthy world, man. You see? A slippery slope, man. This is, um... Back to the book of Jeremiah. Oh, shit. Let's lock you this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 32 and he shall lead Zedekiah to Babylon and there shall he be until I visit him saith the Lord though ye fight with the Chaldeans ye shall not prosper and Jeremiah said the word of the Amen. Lord came Chapter unto me saying verse. behold Hanamiel the son of Shalom thine uncle shall come unto thee saying buy thee my field that is in Anathoth for the right of redemption is thine to buy it so Hanamiel mine uncle's son came to me in the court of the prison according to the word of the Lord and said unto me buy my field I pray
Fuck you, man. I thought it was uh, Jeremiah 32. Rise up, you women that are at ease. The scripture I was looking for, man. I'll, I'll go ahead and just jump on to the next one. It's all good. Put those one, I'll throw it up on the on the comment board or something, man. But yeah, man. You know, it, all you women that have have been allowed to be at ease, that have been, you know, uh, uh, just running around, you know, uh, uh, you know, on the on the on the carousel. As Elder Malcolm likes to say, the dick carousel, man. Just running around, hopping from rod to rod, thinking it's okay because Esau's giving you this liberty, man. You're going to receive a, a judgment for all these works, man. You see? Got 50, 100 plus bodies on you. It's disgusting, man. Um, you go ahead. This is a uh, book of Isaiah. chapter 4 and verse 4 and it reads when the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion you see the daughters of Zion how is he, he going to wash the filth of you daughters of Zion away and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning men that's how he's going to clean you women by judgment by burning men and when you see all this hell breaking loose What's going to happen? Verse 1, it says, And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. You see? Seven women, representing completion, will take hold of one man. Why? Why are they finna be doing this, man? Because they're going to see all this hell breaking loose. All these women talking about equality, talking about uh, uh, feminism. I just saw a post, um, you know, by, by, you know, some feminists, man, talking about if, uh, uh, you know, if all hell breaks loose out here, if World War III happens, then uh, then then she'll she'll throw the feminism out the window, and she'll be cool with with serving a man and cleaning and getting cheated on every now and then. You see, that's another thing, man. You 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 women you women really try to be equal to a man, just just running through running through men. Adultery is when a betrothed woman, a married woman, lays with another man. That is what adultery is, man. You see? The man, King, I said it, said it this ain't go, man. King Solomon had 700 wives and 1,000 plus concubines, man. The transgression was not in the multiple women, you see? Men were created to have women. Women were created to be in subjection to one man. You see? So again, her trying to be like the man has caused all kind of mess filth and destruction, man, disease, you see, and that's why we don't, we don't mess around with these people in the world, man, we ain't like you, you see, we don't get with the same women, we don't get with the, 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 you know, we don't, we don't act the way you do, talk the way you do, we don't be committing adultery the way you do, man, our women are our women, point blank, period, man, we don't even go searching for them, for the most part, man. If you need something, the Most High will bring it to you, man. You see? To hell with these women. We got we got a job to do, man. See, though we in the flesh, we have got a job to do. What's going on, it says. So let's see what these women are going to say. Take hold of one man saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own clothes. Only let us be called by your name. To take away our reproach. You see that, man? Let us be called by your name. Let us take on your surname. To take away our sin, man. So we can be covered. The scriptures talk about a, a, a man will be a covering place for his woman in the day of judgment, man. What are you women going to do when all hell breaks loose, man? You ain't going to have the same energy that you have today. Talking about feminism and you, know, you got all these dyke lesbians out here, man. What are you gonna do when grown ass men are kicking at kicking down your door, man? What did Job's woman do? He told turn around, told Job, curse the most high and die. Lot's woman, rubberneck back to the old world on what uh, on what she was losing, man. These women need guidance, man. They need direction. 
And that begins with what? The men of the Lord girding up their loins and acting like a man. You see? Because we, this society has, we've been feminized, man. Putting the woman up on the pedestal, man. There's order within your household, you see? And that order will bring forth uh, 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 life, man. Joy. All right, we ain't, we ain't saying go and, you know, go hate your woman, attack your woman. But well, uh, Paul says it the best, man. Let's go ahead and grab it. First um, Corinthians chapter 7. And one, it says, Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. You see that? Why is Paul saying this, man? Is he saying that you need to be celibate? No, he's just saying it's, it's, it's good for you to not even be dealing with these women out here, man. It is good for you not even be dealing with them. He ain't saying that. That's not a commandment. That doesn't mean you can't go have a woman. That doesn't mean you can't go have multiple women. That is not a commandment. This is Paul telling you, hey, this is, this is, this is a good way to protect yourself, man. What was going to happen if, if, you know, verse 2, Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, to, so to avoid you being a freak in this flesh, let every man have his own wife. Because what's going to happen, if, you know, if you're over here abstaining from women, you're going to see a woman walk by, especially in Babylon, man. See a woman walk by, you know, half-dressed, or maybe not even dressed, whatever the case may be, out here on these streets. And you're going to have a man, you know, pouncing out his clothes, man. Acting like a damn fool. So to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. Have your own woman. Not share a woman. Have your own woman. You see? And let every woman have her own husband. You see? Yeah, you woman have your own husband. You don't need to be having multiple men. That ain't the way it works, man. You see? But according to the law, a man could have more than one woman. Though so Paul, you know, Paul says, better not even have any. But if you have one, then, you know, just, 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 just only deal with a one. Don't go try to find a, you know, don't try to be King Solomon and try to find 700 wives, man. This ain't the time for that. That time will come, as we just read out of Isaiah, the fourth chapter in the first verse. You see? Anyway, let me go ahead and jump down. Um, Verse 7 it says, For I would that all men were even as I myself, but every man hath his proper gift of God. So basically Paul is saying, I would rather, you know, you, you be able to to have that type of type of spirit to not to not even be uh, uh you know, to not be um bewitched by these women, man. Not even have one. Paul Paul was able to, you know, not even not even deal with one woman, man. But some brothers, the case may be different, man. Maybe that brother would be destroyed without a woman. Maybe that brother would be, a, a, you know, fall into some different type of temptation, man. You see? So it says, but every man according to his proper gift of God. So every man has their own lot. One after this manner and another after that. I say, therefore, uh, to, the, to the unmarried and widows, it is good for them if they abide even as I. You see? Uh, verse 9. But if they cannot contain, if you can't contain yourself, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn. You see? It's better to be married than for this, uh, uh, this sink of death to catch you, man. These ICBMs, this fire, this hell on earth that's coming. Um, verse 10. And unto the married I command 
yet not I, but the Lord. You see, now, now it's talking about a commandment here. Let not the wife depart from her husband. You see? But if she depart, let her remain unmarried, or be reconciled to her husband, and let not the husband put away his wife. But what do you have in today's society, man? She's just able to run from man to man. You see? So, this is, so order is about to be put back on this earth. And it's going to cause diseases to cease. It's going to cause these broken households to, to, be, to, to, to cease. It's going to cause our people. That's why the scriptures talk about what? In the book of Revelation, every tear will be wiped away. This is what we're fighting for, man. We are fighting for order on this earth. We are fighting for life to be established on this earth, man. We're fighting for the riddance of Esau and all his madness that he's done here. Again, you destroy the woman, you destroy the man, then you destroy the house. That's what Esau has done, man. Um, I'm looking for a particular verse, man. And I'll close it up. God, here it is, verse 29. It says, But this I say, brethren, that time is short. You see, and why is it that you, you know, you you're being told to not accumulate all these wives and stuff. Well, because we have a mission to do, man. You don't need all these distractions. That's what a woman is, a distraction. You don't need all that. You see, we have got a job to do, man. We are at war. But once the tables flip, then you will receive your reward, man. Well, now it says, But this I say, brethren, that time is short, it remaineth, that both they which have wives be as though they had none. You see that, man? Be as though they had none. We've got a job to do, man. Even if you have one wife, just be as though you have none. You don't need to be spewing everything to her and, you know, putting her up on the, 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 the pedestal, man. The most high comes first. You see? And that's what these women did. They, 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 they've been taught in their head to, to be, be put above you, above anything, man. You see? And so, really, deep down inside, man, they get jealous when it comes to you serving the Most High before them. Because that's what they want. They want you to serve them, be a servant like the Scripture said, man. You see? They want to be put first above the Heavenly Father, man. You see? What do the Scriptures say? Serve the Most High and then everything else will follow along, man. You really want to keep that woman, you serve the Most High. Because if you don't, I guarantee you the Most High will strip her from you, man. What's the scripture say that that everybody uh, uh, today that hath, it shall be taken away? You see? You might be over here running at your wits to, to, you know, to please this woman. To serve her. And when all hell breaks loose, what are you going to do, man, when she turns to you for protection? Because I guarantee you when that day... If you done sold out for her ass, man, you ain't going to be one of these men in Isaiah 401. In fact, your woman will be one of those seven. Well, she probably will be put to death. You see? But this is this is the, the, the power of the Heavenly Father, man. You see? Judgment is being brought back to this earth, man. It's Isaiah. That's what was messing me up, man. Isaiah 32 and 9. It says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease, hear my voice. Ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech. Hey, man. So these careless daughters, these, these Israelite women, you see, are about to be forced to wake up and smell the coffee, man. 
like I said, keep that same energy that you've had. And we're going to see where it gets you in that day, man. You're about to see a great humbling coming to the planet Earth, man. So with that, Lord willing, this is edifying. All praises, honor, and glory. Be in the Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Shabbat, Shem Rukhuk, Badash, double honors unto the others and the apostles, that GMS, Grim Millstone, peace, love, blessings, salutations unto the elect, Shalom.